Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. What's going on, tech fans? Well, it's me, Elric, here on Tech of Tomorrow. And first off, I gotta say, I think that you people on the East Coast are much tougher than us people out here in Cali, because when it drops a few degrees out here, like honestly, it was like 90 yesterday and like 70 today, I'm freezing. Now I know you guys in the East Coast are going, sissies, but man, in California, 20 degrees is a lot, and I'm actually freezing at 68 degrees. I know, it's crazy. So what are we doing here on Tech of Tomorrow? Well, today we're gonna bring you guys the gear two from Samsung. Now you guys all remember, we got the original gear before, we did some stuff with it. So now we're going to bring you the unboxing, what it's all about, then we're going to take it to the gym and test it out just like we did before and see, hey, what this thing's all about. So first off, let's start out with the box. We're just like the S5. It's made out of recycled material and that's soy ink. Not a lot to this box anyway. It's just got, you know, it's basically four little corners. Here it says it was made in Vietnam. So that's really cool for the Vietnamese people getting some of that Samsung cash. Thumbs up for you guys. I hope it helps your country. And that's really pretty much it. Not a lot to the box, folks. Just in the back of it, it talks about its Bluetooth connectivity, all that kind of stuff. And basically to use this thing, you connect it up to your phone and then you go from there. It's not really so much a standalone product. It actually works with your phone. So with that said, let's go ahead. Let's flip it around real quick here. I'll go ahead and pop the cap. Then inside we see the watch. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that and set it down. Let's see if there's anything else in the box, which there is right here. We have the accessories charger. It's just your standard micro USB. No USB 3 on this. We'll set that down. Now, next up is something really kind of weird. And from what my friends have been saying, this is kind of a pain in the ass. Let me get this out of here. This is actually the charging module. So before you can even charge this and use this, you have to attach this to the back of your smartwatch. Now, personally, I think that's gonna be a little pain in the ass but we'll get to that when we get there. So beyond the actual device and its charging accessories, we get a little bit of nomenclature. Here we got the quick reference manual. This will tell you how to use the smartwatch, how to adjust the band, all that stuff. We've got one more little piece of nomenclature. This is the health and safety and warranty guide. So with that said, let's hop in the gym and let's see what this thing's all about. So there you have it. We were in the gym. Now, I just got to say a few things about this smartwatch. A, for one thing, it was a lot easier to use, actually, than the S5. You guys saw how easy I was to set it up. And the heartbeat monitor, oh my god, amazingly a lot better on this. It reads from the actual underside of the watch instead of having to put your finger on it. If you guys are wondering why I'm squinting, it's actually bright out here. I feel like I'm filming in freaking Florida or something today. We started out this morning, it was overcast and cloudy. Now it's getting overcast again. Well, behind me, we have a fountain. So you guys all know this thing's supposed to be waterproof. So why not? Let's just give it a test. Fountain. Let's do a little watering. And then let's just act like we're a complete dumbass. Oh my God, I dropped some money into the fountain. Voila, money. But I won't steal it. I'll make another wish. All right, folks, outside when we were trying to do the water test and everything, it was really hard to see the screen. I'm going to have to adjust uh, how long before the light goes out because it keeps dimming really, really fast. But you guys can see it's all clear throughout in here. And now I'm actually going to look right here. I actually missed a notification. So here's a notification. It says I missed a call. And it says I missed a call from Jonathan Morrison, my business manager and business partner. And I guess he's gonna call me back right now and we'll see how it actually looks when someone calls you on the phone. So you guys can see, now Jonathan's calling. Now if I had my headphones on like I did earlier, I could actually answer this entire thing through my headphones or through the watch itself. So let's go ahead and answer it. Hey, what's up there, Johnny? Hello, yeah, and actually I can hear him through the smartwatch. It's a little bit hard, I can hold it to my ear, but I can hear him enough to hold a conversation. Like I said, most people are probably going to be having their headphones on, stuff like that. I plan on using this for mainly traveling, doing my exercise at the gym, and mainly just walking the dog and stuff like that. But so far, it seems pretty interesting, and a lot of the features seem a lot more intuitive straight ahead than they were on the S5. So, we've been to the gym, we've been to a pond, 
kind of dove in, got that thing all wet. And I've been using this thing now for about a week since we last saw you over there. And there are some really cool things about this smartwatch. Now there's some things that are also kind of lame. Now, using the new S voice feature is really, really cool. It's easy just to go ahead and talk and get things to access. Call Jesus. Hey, bro, where's my food? Your food? My food. Like, where's my burrito, dog? I'm hungry. <laughs> I still gotta go get it. What? Dude, I thought you were a Mexican. What happened? I was really craving a burrito, sir. I have a Mexican. It just has to mix in wheat. Oh, oh, I see how it is around here. Okay. Well, then, uh, you just have a good day there, sir. All right, thank you, too. All right, bye. You can easily access all your contacts. You can easily keep notes for yourself. Like everything's very easy to access on this new Gear 2. Now, compared to the Gear, the original one, I think this thing has actually come a long way, especially as far as style and stuff goes. It's a lot easier to use. The interface is much nicer. It's quicker. Now, some things on this thing are really, really though, extremely lame. I gotta say, that the way that this thing charges, having to have a separate little thing that you snap on and then plug into another USB thing, it leaves total room for somebody to lose this. I mean, that's just straight up. And I mean, I really wish in a way that this thing did not have to always be connected to your phone. I wish they come out with a real smartwatch that would be more of a life-changing thing. Even though this thing is really cool and I'm gonna keep it, I think for a lot of people out there at $300, it's not gonna be a life-changing thing. Now, being able to have it around with you, being walking around, not to dig your, you know, your phone all the way out, which may be really cool for some people. So let me talk a little bit about that. So, I mean, I didn't really like that you had to always have it, but there are some cool advantages. Of this. Like a lady, you carry it in your purse, you can slap it in your purse. You're a guy, you have a pack or something, you can throw it all the way in there and you don't really have to be carrying it around and be touching it all the time. And you can access everything from the smartwatch. You can make your phone calls. You guys saw all that cool stuff that I did at the gym. The heart monitor on this thing is really, really awesome. It's so much easier to use than the one that was on the, you know, the S5. That thing was a pain in the butt trying to use that. I was like, Rah! this is so much easier. So there are some really, really cool things. Ease of access while you're walking around and just having something, you know, right here on your watch that you can access is pretty cool. Now, in case some of you guys missed it, when you're using the S5, you have complete control over your TV and stuff like that. You can actually sit there and program all that stuff and this transcends over into the smartwatch. So that's pretty cool. So if you don't want to use your remote or anything, you know, you just go up, click on your old smartwatch, kablimma kablam, and you're off and you're operating your TV. Now, the very absolute most useless thing on this is the camera. It's like off here to the side and it's just really weird. I don't know. It's hard to use. I, I think if you were actually trying to walk by and use it, somebody might try to like arrest you. Like we were actually talking about like doing some kind of funny skit where like I'd have the police like fake arrest me for taking funny pictures, but uh, eh, we'll just talk about that right here. So that's kind of a totally useless thing about it. So the camera feature, eh, I'm not gonna use it. You're probably never going to use it. But for $300, I think it's a really cool deal. There's all these pebbles. There's that one I looked like last week, the phosphor thing. This is a totally different type of breed. And if they could just get this thing to step that next level and not have to be slave to my phone all the time, I would be totally just going, all right, this thing is simply amazing. As is, it's pretty cool. For $300, is it worth it? Yeah, I have to say that it actually is. It's not a ripoff in any way. You get your watch, you get your weather, you get your notes, alarms, all that kind of stuff. You can set up things to wake you up. You can tell you when to call people. I mean, it's got all kinds of cool stuff in it for the guy who's traveling, businessman, or even a sports guy just wants to keep up with stuff all on his wrist. Now, before I bounce on out of here, I want to give a special shout out once again to the people over at Squarespace. Now, all you guys out there are always asking how you can support us and 
now you can check out our music. Well, we made our music website using Squarespace. With over 20 different customizable themes and templates that you can use, all drag and drop action, this is one really killer, incredible way to get your media website up and rolling quick. And what's even cooler, I know a lot of people don't have a normal schedule, so these guys have incredible 24-hour customer service. So you're one of those New Yorkers in the city that never sleeps? Hey, there'll be somebody there at Tech Support to answer your call and help you get through those difficult times of setting up your website. So if that sounds good to you, check this out. You can get even more savings. At the checkout counter, enter the code TOT. You get a free trial period, and if you want to keep it, you get 10% off of the price. Awesome stuff. So that's it, folks. That's about it for this. I hope you guys like this video. We're trying to bring these things more and more real life and more life usage to you folks. Because, I mean, that's probably better because at the end of the day, you know, using is better than just going. So, hey, peace out. Love you guys. Down below the like button will be all the information on this. So if you guys are looking about getting more information about this, looking to purchase one, or just checking out more information about it, that will all be down there below that like button. And on that like button, I want you guys to go crazy on it. I want you guys to act like you're hungry cavemen who are just saw your first food. Ah!